Hey there, tech aficionados. Welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer. Today, we're diving into the world of iPad OS 17 and its intriguing Stage Manager feature. Now, if you're like me, you might recall Stage Manager from its debut in iPad OS 16, and well, let's just say I wasn't its biggest fan. But hold on to your tablets, because iPad OS 17 brings some improvements that might just turn the tide. I've been tinkering with the beta, and I've got some exciting insights to share. Let's get started. Last year's stage manager left many of us unimpressed, with its quirky multitasking system causing more confusion than convenience. However, iPad OS 17's stage manager shows signs of maturity. While it's not perfect, it's a step in the right direction. The key upgrade is the newfound flexibility it brings to app windows. You are no longer limited to preset sizes and orientations. Now, you can adjust apps to be as tall, short, wide, or skinny as you prefer, placing them almost anywhere on the screen. This newfound flexibility empowers you to personalize your multitasking experience. Sure, it might look a bit off at times, but the beauty is in the choice. As you move app windows around, you might notice subtle bounces back to the center or edge of the screen, but it's a minor compromise. The ability to scatter iPhone-sized windows, have a large video playing while referencing a recipe in a tiny corner window, and customize window sizes and placements marks a significant leap toward true multitasking prowess. But remember, the effectiveness of Stage Manager largely depends on app support. The good news is, most apps seem to play well with the different sizes and resolutions required by Stage Manager. Occasionally, you'll come across an app that shrinks awkwardly or refuses to adapt, but these instances are few and far between. While Netflix and a few of Apple's own apps still present challenges, it's a relatively smooth ride overall. If you're the type who uses the iPad as your primary workhorse, Stage Manager has a treat for you. Especially when paired with an external monitor, it truly shines. With five stages on the iPad and an additional five on the monitor, you can have a powerful command center with up to eight apps visible simultaneously. Plus, if your monitor has a camera, you can use it when your iPad is connected, adding a new level of versatility. Despite its progress, Stage Manager still has room to grow. You're still limited to four apps in a stage, which might be sufficient for most users. However, this limitation feels unnecessary on an external display. Additionally, switching between stages can be a tad confusing, as you can only see four stages at once in the left aligned tray. Swiping up to the app switcher reveals all created stages, which is great. But being able to have an app in multiple stages simultaneously would be a welcome enhancement. While Stage Manager is a step forward, it remains somewhat detached from the rest of iPad OS. Integrating it with other navigational tools and windowing systems would make it a more seamless experience. The ability to have widgets and apps together in a space, save collections of apps with names for easy access and utilize the iPad's processing power for more than four apps at a time are areas where Stage Manager could evolve. So, what's the verdict on Stage Manager in iPad OS 17? While there are still some quirks and limitations, Stage Manager is starting to feel like a valuable tool for power users and those seeking improved multitasking capabilities. Thanks for joining us on UK Pro Reviewer. If you've had a chance to try iPad OS 17 and Stage Manager, share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful tech content. Until next time, stay curious and stay tech savvy.